Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 151, If Or. All right, I got an interesting one today. I, I have a feeling this could do a lot of uh, back and forth uh, from YouTube. Trying to take D2 plus E2 and multiply that times 1.2. Uh, but if both D2 and E2 are 0, then we need to use the default in uh, in F. All right, so here's the original formula that uh, Newman123 had, D2 plus E2 times 1.2. And I, uh, I have two different ways to solve this. I'm sure that Mike probably has a dozen ways to solve this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is start with an equal if, and then inside the if, use the AND function. AND is this great versatile function that says, hey, we're going to make sure that all of these things are true. So check if D2 is true, if E2 is true, if all of that is true. We could keep putting more in there, but we won't have to. Uh, then uh, use the default in F2. Otherwise, use the same formula we had, but I'm going to change from D2 plus E2 to use a sum function. That way, later on, if we come up with additional, like num3, num4, num5, and put it between D and E, uh, that will automatically expand. Multiply that times 1.2, closing parenthesis, and we're good to go. I like this one because it actually makes sense to me. Someone, a coworker, can come up and see this and understand it making sure that both of these things are true. If that's true, then we use the default in F2. Otherwise, we do the regular calculation. Uh, I try to come up with something a little bit off the wall. Not saying, Mike, that you always come up with something off the wall, but uh, I figured you're, you, you must have some other way to do this. So, same formula, sum of D2 times E2, or D2 to E2 times 1.2, right? We get that. Now, if it happens that both of these are 0, that number is going to be 0. So, I'm then going to take F2 times this Boolean expression, D2 is equal to 0, E2 is equal to 0. If both of those are true, then we get F2 times 1 times 1, and we get F2. If either of them are false, F2 times 0 times you know, whatever. Anything times 0 is 0. So in this case, either this part of the formula, the first part of the formula is going to be non-zero, or the second part of the formula is going to be non-zero. Uh, and we can just add them together every time. We don't even need an if statement. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, you know, I love both of the formulas you did. This one's great because, as you said, hey, the logic of how this formula works is right there, right? True, true, then put this, otherwise that. Ah, and this Boolean bit of magic that you did here, I love this. And I like this little bit the most because, oh, how smart. Always going to get a number except for when it sees two zeros. Then sum is going to add to get zero. So I'm actually going to steal that sum part of your formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And I'm going to notice, hey, there's a bunch of numbers except for zero when it sees two zeros. Well, guess what? The if function can interpret any non-zero number as true and 0 as false. So I'm just going to slap the sum right into the logical test argument. Hey, if it sees any number besides 0, what do I want? Well, I need to add these. And I like Mr. Excel's idea of using the sum instead of plus plus, because if you insert any columns here, this thing will update. We'll multiply that by 1.2. Otherwise, we need the default value. That means when it sees the sum total of 0. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Hey, uh, some other ways to do this. There are a bunch of other ways. Here's a crazy way. And I'm going to use the same AND that Mr. Excel did. Hey, is this equal to 0? AND is the second number equal to 0. Hey, that's a logical function, so of course it delivers true or false. It only delivers the true when it sees the two zeros. Now, normally if we convert logical values to ones and zeros, we do any math operation like add zero or double negative. But check this out. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to add one. Hey, wait a second. That'll make false one and true two. And guess what? I'm going to use that in the lookup function choose. Now, choose is a weird lookup function because it needs the lookup value is actually an index number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you just put the things you want right into the lookup function choose. So value 1, well, it's going to be that sum times 1.2. Hey, value 2, 
it's going to be the default value. Now, the choose is awesome because you can put anything into these values, text, numbers, formulas, whatever you want. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Hey, uh, that's a silly one there. And probably the best one of all of these is that equal with the AND function. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Mr. Excel. Whoa, Mike, that is beautiful. Choose. I never saw that one coming. That is beautiful. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. See you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.